Today we're gonna configure step by step how to configure Cisco wireless controller. Our series or our model today is 200, 2504. This is the model number of Cisco wireless controller. And access point, which is Ironet 2600 series. And this is its model. Our tasks today is to factory reset wireless controller to its factory default and configure it via two ways. Today we'll configure it via command line interface only because my model number 2500 doesn't support the other way which is via service board which is a GUI method. Number two, we will join the access point via automatically. It will be joined automatically and these need DHCP should be prepared first. For DHCP, we have two option or more. Uh, Cisco DHCP server or Microsoft DHCP server in this task or in this Cisco lab, we will use Cisco DHCP. And uh, maybe in the following videos, we will cover the other points. So now we have to prepare our network first Number one, on the course which will configure VLAN called VLAN 18 and name it new wireless controller. Uh, give her interface, give it interface VLAN 18, IP address 10.10.18.1 and this is a mask, no shutdown. And we will create a DHCP pool on the course switch, uh, which will give the IP addresses to the access points when it's joined and the configure option 43 option 43 it gives the access point the direction to the wireless controller to communicate with and to configure this option 43 it consists of three types number one or three parts number one the type which is always f1 and the length Lens is the number of controller you have in this network multiplied by four. So in this example, I have one controller, so I'll multiply one by four, which is the result is four. And number three, the third part, which is the value, it's IB address, which is your uh, Cisco LS control IB address converted to hexadecimal. So for example, our uh, wireless controller, our network contains only one wireless controller with the IP address 10.10.18.2. So to configure this option, we'll write option for three hexadecimal F104.0A, which is 10 hexadecimal will be 0a, 0a the other 10 and 12 which is represented representation for 18 in hexadecimal and the 2 which is 0, 01. Now 2 uh, should be 0, 02. 2 yes. Okay, let's uh, Here is a website which can help us here. You're right here, 10, which will represent it to A. We will do 0A and 18, which will be represented by 12. Alaikum salam. Okay, 18 will be converted, converted to 12 and 2 will be converted to 0, 2, which is this. Save, okay. And we'll create the ball, which is IB on the course switch. Uh, IB DHCP ball, VLAN 18, network 10.10.18.0, mask, default gateway, which is our core virtual IB interface and DNS server and option for three it should be two here and save 
Now it's time to configure the wireless controller. To do this, we will shut down the wireless controller and connect console cable to the console board and the power on the wireless controller using POTI. Choose the serial connection and connect. Now it's time to do it in practice live. This is my core switch. I'm gonna give these configuration alongside. This is my VLAN. And this is the IB DHCP port. Now we have configured show run. This is IBDHCB ball network router interface show VLAN. This is VLAN 18, your wireless controller, no one assigned to it. And show IP interface brief, VLAN 18, up, up, good. Now, it's time to configure wireless controller. First of all, we have to make sure that the switch which is connected to wireless controller should be as a trunk. So we went to my office switch was a switch connected directly to wireless controller. We have to configure the port as a trunk connected to the I connected to the port number 15 show interface trunk. It's already trunk, it's shut down. So I will configure the wireless control to be on. It's on now. Show interface. Show IB interface brief. Hmm. Now it's up, so it should be a port in the trunk, show interface trunk, yes, it's here, so we make sure now that the interface is trunk, and let me show, this is a configuration for our interface, clear, interface, gig ethernet 15, description, trunk to new wireless controller, switch port mode trunk, good. So we have finished from here. Now it's time to configure the wireless controller. Um, we'll open putty and connect as a serial port. Open. Here. Enter username or recover config this one time. We'll input recover config to recover it or to reset it to factory default. Okay. Now we will configure it from the fir for the first time. This is the question he will ask us and the answers first of all he will ask about the admin username and password he's uh, making restart now service interface ib address none and this is the management ib address mask i'll pause while he finished with booting, now it's loading primary image. Now, would you like to terminate the auto installation? Yes.
now enter the administrator username I'll use admin and the password capital uh, capital A admin default password okay enter administrator password admin at 23 okay, enter Mr. password this is what I'll follow here uh, no management interface IP address 10.10.18.2 this is the wireless controller IP address netmask zero the management interface default router 10.10.18.1 management interface vlan enter vlan 18 management interface port the port which we will use from the wireless controller it contains one two three four ports i'll use the first one Management interface DHCP server IP address 10.10.18.1, which is the same course which will distribute DHCP pool. Virtual, virtual gateway IP address. I don't know why it's always 1111. I don't know. Multicast IP address. I don't know what is it. Multicast IP address. It's not even here. Okay, according to these Cisco reference, we will use this IP address. Network SSID. the date in month day year month day year invalid response why month day oh uh. Twenty-five, eighteen. Hour, day or nine. Minutes, twenty. Thirty-one. Zero. 
configuration corrective yes system will save yes now he will reload and it will continue here it comes after reboot the username admin password Now let's bring it ten dot ten dot eighteen dot two supply access it now ten dot ten dot eighteen dot two great I already uh, write the root the configure the, the credential username and password so it saved it and this is the wireless control and this is the new RC Wi Fi which I created good now it's time to join let's go back here now we have finished from this step via command line interface uh, factory default and configure the wireless access point now and created the, the DHCP scope for the access points uh, via Cisco DHCP now we will join access point via automatic way okay now it's time to join the access point Okay, my access point is connected to the my offer switch in port number three. Show I be interface brief. Port number three is already up. Sure run interface three. We should be configured to VLAN 18. Conf T interface Giga three. Switch port mode access, switch port access VLAN 18. Do show VLAN VLAN 18. Okay, this one. Okay, shut down. Now my LED indicator on the access point is off. No shut. Uh, every access point contain a console so I connect it to it it's now booting and it will receive DHCP settings from these VLAN in trouble Look here, converted option port 3 to 10.10.18.2. Good. Sending join request to 10.10.18.2.
Yes, it's a bird and join. Congratulations. It takes the IP address 10.10.18.3. It's loading the image and configuration. It uses the protocol of TabWeb or lightweight access point protocol to communicate between the access point and the wireless controller. Good. Now I see. I'll check my mobile phone to see whether it's distributing a network or not. Now it's already joined. Uh, let's go to these Wi Fi enabled. Oh, I'll be we'll put a password here. Pre-share the key and the put passwords. Apply. Save. Okay. Good. Now it takes ten minutes to operate and distribute the wireless network for clients. Okay, now it distributed the wireless control. It takes exactly 10 minutes to the wireless network to appear for clients. So now it's appear and I'll connect, I'll be connected from my phone. So client now is zero, no client. Okay, I'll connect it. Put the password. One, two, three, four, seven, eight, nine. Connect. دلوقتي التليفون بتاعي ظبطه شبك عليه وأخذ أي بي أدرس. واخد انترنت كده يبقى انا قدرت اوكي ناو ماي فون هاز بين ريجستر تو ذيس واي فاي اند ابيرد هير ان ذا كلاينت كيس سو وي ناو فينيشد ستيب باي ستيب انستليشن اند كونفيجرينج وايرلس نتورك كونسيست اوف وان اكسس بوينت اند وان وايرلس كنترولر ناو اني اكسس بوينت any new access point you want it to join this network you have to configure the interface or the switch well which the access point will be connected to to be in the network on the vlan 18 for example as we discussed here to get the dhcb configuration ip address and the option for three to point here to the wireless controller to to, to take the configuration settings and it's directly connected no more configuration just plug in the access point, configure the board to the VLAN, and it's all working. Thank you for viewing. If you found this is a video informative for you, please give me a like or share it and subscribe to my channel to make more videos. Thank you.